Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the glamour and transformations of 80s Hollywood actresses. Join us as we unveil their shocking looks in 2024, exploring the timeless beauty and evolving styles of these iconic stars. Buckle up for a trip down memory lane with a twist. Now, let's get started. Kathleen Turner, born on June 19, 1954, is an American actress and director celebrated for her captivating performances. She gained fame with her breakout role in Body Heat, 1981, showcasing her sultry voice and on-screen charisma. Turner continued to make waves with acclaimed performances in films like Romancing the Stone, 1984, and Peggy Sue Got Married, 1986. Her career, marked by versatility, expanded to include successful ventures in theater and television. Turner's achievements include Golden Globe Awards, Tony Award nominations, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now, Kathleen Turner is 69 years old. Her enduring contributions to the entertainment industry, marked by memorable roles and a dynamic presence, solidify her status as a respected and influential figure in Hollywood. Sharon Stone, born on March 10, 1958, is an American actress, producer, and former fashion model. She rose to international fame with her breakout role in the erotic thriller Basic Instinct, 1992, where her captivating performance earned her widespread recognition. Stone's career continued to flourish with critically acclaimed roles in films like Casino, 1995, and The Muse, 1999. Her achievements include a Golden Globe Award for Casino and an Academy Award nomination for the same film. Beyond acting, Stone has been involved in humanitarian efforts and received accolades for her philanthropic work. Currently, Sharon Stone is 65 years old. Her enduring career, marked by versatility and memorable performances, has solidified her status as one of Hollywood's enduring and influential actresses. Catherine O'Hara, born on March 4, 1954, is a Canadian actress, comedian, and writer renowned for her comedic brilliance. She gained widespread fame through her collaborations with director Christopher Guest, particularly in mockumentaries like Waiting for Guffman, 1996, and Best in Show, 2000. However, her most iconic role is perhaps as the quirky mother in the holiday classic Home Alone, 1990. O'Hara's illustrious career spans decades, including memorable performances in films like Beetlejuice, 1988, and animated works such as The Nightmare Before Christmas, 1993, and Monster House, 2006. Her achievements include multiple Primetime Emmy Awards for her outstanding work on the television series Schitt's Creek. As of now, Catherine O'Hara is 69 years old. Her comedic talent, versatility, and contribution to the entertainment industry have left an indelible mark on both film and television. Michael Learned, born on April 9, 1939, is an American actress acclaimed for her distinguished career, primarily known for her portrayal of Olivia Walton in the iconic television series The Waltons, 1972-1981. Her poignant and empathetic performance in the role earned her three Primetime Emmy Awards. Learned's career extends beyond her beloved Walton character, with notable work in theater, film, and television. Her achievements include a Theater World Award for her Broadway debut in Three for the Seesaw, 1963, and a recurring role on The Young and the Restless. Now, Michael Learned is 84 years old. Her contributions to the entertainment industry, marked by critical acclaim and enduring popularity, have solidified her as a respected actress with a legacy that spans generations. Meg Foster, born on May 10, 1948, is an American actress known for her distinctive blue eyes and captivating performances. 
She gained recognition for her role as Detective Chris Cagney in the television series Cagney and Lacey, 1982-1983, and her portrayal of Evil Lynn in the film Masters of the Universe, 1987, added to her fame. Foster's career includes a wide range of roles in film and television, with notable appearances in They Live, 1988, and The Osterman Weekend, 1983. While she often played enigmatic and intense characters, her talent and versatility earned her a dedicated fanbase. Currently, Meg Foster is 75 years old. Her enduring contributions to the entertainment industry, marked by a unique screen presence, showcase her as a respected and accomplished actress with a career spanning several decades. Sally Kirkland, born on October 31, 1941, is an American actress and producer known for her passionate performances in film, television, and theater. She gained widespread recognition for her compelling role in Anna, 1987, which earned her an Academy Award nomination and a Golden Globe win for Best Actress. Kirkland's career encompasses a diverse range of roles in films like The Sting, 1973, and The Way We Were, 1973. Her achievements extend beyond acting, including Emmy Award nominations and a Tony Award nomination for her work on Broadway. Presently, Sally Kirkland is 82 years old. Her enduring career, marked by dedication and versatility, has made her a respected figure in the entertainment industry, and her impactful contributions continue to be celebrated by audiences and peers alike. Kathy Coleman, born on February 18, 1962, is an American actress best known for her role as Holly Marshall in the classic television series Land of the Lost, 1974-1976. The show, which revolved around a family trapped in a mysterious prehistoric land, garnered a dedicated fanbase, making Coleman a familiar face in the world of 1970s television. After Land of the Lost, Coleman transitioned away from acting, choosing to focus on her personal life. Despite the briefness of her acting career, her role in the beloved series has left a lasting impact on fans of the show. Now, Kathy Coleman is 61 years old. While her time in the entertainment industry was relatively short, her contributions to the cult favorite Land of the Lost continue to be fondly remembered by audiences who grew up with the show. Sissy Spacek, born on December 25, 1949, is an American actress and singer celebrated for her versatile and award-winning career. She gained fame for her breakthrough role as Carrie White in Carrie, 1976, earning her an Academy Award nomination and establishing her as a prominent actress in Hollywood. Spacek's career flourished with acclaimed performances in films like Coal Miner's Daughter, 1980, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. Her career spans a variety of genres, showcasing her talent in dramas, thrillers, and comedies. As of now, Sissy Spacek is 74 years old. Her achievements include multiple Academy Award nominations, a Grammy Award for her contribution to Coal Miner's Daughter, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Spacek's enduring legacy in the film industry solidifies her as one of the most respected and accomplished actresses of her generation. Kathy Silvers, born on May 27, 1961, is an American actress best known for her role as Jenny Pachalo in the popular television sitcom Happy Days, 1980-1984. The daughter of comedian Phil Silvers, she brought humor and charm to the show, earning recognition for her performance in the later seasons. While Happy Days was a significant highlight in Silvers' career, she has also appeared in various TV shows and films, including Foul Play, 1978, and The Face of Fear, 1990. Currently, Kathy Silvers is 62 years old. Her contributions to the entertainment industry, particularly in the realm of classic sitcoms, have left an indelible mark, making her a recognizable figure in the hearts of fans who fondly remember the nostalgic charm of Happy Days.
Diana Muldor, born on August 19, 1938, is an American actress whose career has spanned over six decades. She gained fame for her versatile performances in television, film, and theater. Muldor is widely recognized for her roles in classic TV series such as Star Trek, The Next Generation, 1988-1990, and L.A. Law, 1991-1994, where she portrayed Dr. Catherine Pulaski and Rosalind Shays, respectively. Her achievements include Emmy Award nominations for her exceptional work in The Other, 1972, and Born Free, 1974. Muldor's contributions to the entertainment industry also extend to Broadway, where she received critical acclaim for her stage performances. As of 2024, Diana Muldor is 85 years old. Her enduring career, marked by versatility and talent, has solidified her status as a respected actress in the world of television and film. Ray Don Chong, born on February 28, 1961, is a Canadian-American actress and producer recognized for her diverse contributions to film and television. She gained fame for her breakout role in Quest for Fire, 1981, and later starred alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando, 1985, which further solidified her status as a prominent actress in the 1980s. Chong's career has been marked by versatility, with roles in films like The Color Purple, 1985, and Soul Man, 1986. Beyond acting, she has worked as a producer and director, showcasing her multifaceted talents. Today, Ray Don Chong is 62 years old. While her career has experienced its share of ups and downs, Chong remains an accomplished and respected figure in the entertainment industry, known for her dynamic performances and contributions to film. Sally Struthers, born on July 28, 1947, is an American actress and activist known for her versatile career. She rose to fame for her portrayal of Gloria Stivic in the groundbreaking sitcom All in the Family, 1971-1978, earning her two Emmy Awards. Struthers continued her success with the spin-off Gloria, 1982-1983, and later lent her voice to popular animated shows like Dinosaurs, 1991 to 1994. Beyond her acting, Struthers has been a passionate advocate for humanitarian causes, including her work with organizations addressing hunger and poverty. Presently, Sally Struthers is 76 years old, and her enduring contributions to both the entertainment industry and philanthropy showcase her as a respected figure known for her talent, activism, and commitment to making a positive impact on society. Ali McGraw, born on April 1, 1939, is an American actress and model whose rise to fame was catapulted by her iconic role in the romantic drama Love Story, 1970. The film's immense success earned her an Academy Award nomination and established her as a leading actress in Hollywood. McGraw's career includes notable performances in films such as The Getaway, 1972, and Convoy, 1978. Beyond acting, she has worked as an activist, supporting causes like animal welfare. Now, Ali McGraw is 84 years old. Her achievements extend beyond the silver screen, with recognition for her timeless beauty, philanthropy, and advocacy work. McGraw's legacy remains indelibly tied to the classic romance of love story and her contributions to both the entertainment industry and social causes. Victoria Jackson, born on August 2, 1959, is an American actress, comedian, and singer best known for her tenure on Saturday Night Live SNL, from 1986 to 1992. Her quirky characters and energetic performances made her a standout on the show, contributing to its comedic legacy. Following SNL, Jackson continued her career in acting, with appearances in films like The Pickup Artist, 1987, and UHF. 1989. 
In addition to her work in entertainment, she has been involved in political activism and conservative commentary. Currently, Victoria Jackson is 64 years old. While her career has seen various facets, her impact on the comedy scene during her SNL years remains a notable highlight, earning her a place in the annals of television comedy history. Terry Garr, born on December 11, 1944, is an American actress and dancer who gained prominence for her versatile talents in film and television. She rose to fame with her roles in classic comedies like Young Frankenstein, 1974, and Tootsie, 1982, showcasing her comedic prowess and earning Academy Award nominations for both performances. Garr's career spans over five decades, with notable roles in films like Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 1977, and Mr. Mom, 1983. Her achievements include an Emmy Award for her performance in the television movie To Dance with the White Dog, 1993. As of 2024, Terry Garr is 79 years old. Despite facing health challenges, she remains a respected figure in the entertainment industry, celebrated for her contributions to comedy and film over the years. Joan Van Ark, born on June 16, 1943, is an American actress known for her extensive career in television, film, and theater. She gained fame for her portrayal of Valene Ewing in the popular TV series Dallas, 1978-1981, 1985-1987, 1991-1993, and its spin-off, Knott's Landing, 1979-1997. Van Ark's career includes a variety of roles in theater productions like The School for Wives and television shows such as The Young and the Restless. Her achievements encompass a Theater World Award and a Soap Opera Digest Award. Today, Joan Van Ark is 80 years old. Her enduring career, marked by her versatile performances and contributions to both television and theater, solidifies her as a respected and accomplished actress in the entertainment industry. Faye Dunaway, born on January 14, 1941, is an iconic American actress renowned for her powerful and versatile performances. She rose to fame with her role as Bonnie Parker in the classic film Bonnie and Clyde, 1967, which marked the beginning of her celebrated career. Dunaway's filmography includes acclaimed roles in Chinatown, 1974, Network, 1976, and Mommy Dearest, 1981. Her achievements encompass an Academy Award for Best Actress, three Golden Globe Awards, and a BAFTA Award. As of now, Faye Dunaway is 83 years old. Despite occasional career challenges, she remains a revered figure in the film industry, celebrated for her contributions to cinema and her indelible impact on the golden age of Hollywood. Dunaway's legacy extends beyond the screen, solidifying her as a cultural icon and a trailblazer in the world of acting. Linda Day George, born on December 11, 1944, is an American actress known for her contributions to film and television. She gained fame for her role as Lisa Casey in the hit TV series Mission, Impossible, 1971-1973, showcasing her talent and beauty. George's career extends beyond television, with notable appearances in films like Pieces of Dreams, 1970, and Chisholm, 1970. Her achievements include a Golden Globe nomination for Most Promising Newcomer, Female. Currently, Linda Day George is 79 years old. Despite occasional hiatuses from acting, she has maintained a presence in the entertainment industry, making appearances in television shows and films. George's legacy is marked by her captivating performances and her enduring impact on the world of entertainment, particularly in the realm of classic television.
Bettina Louise, born on February 11, 1934, is an American actress, singer, and author best known for her iconic role as Ginger Grant on the classic sitcom Gilligan's Island, 1964-1967. The series catapulted her to fame, and her portrayal of the glamorous movie star stranded on a deserted island remains etched in popular culture. Beyond her time on the island, Louise has enjoyed a diverse career in film, television, and theater. Her achievements include a Theater World Award for her Broadway debut in Lil Abner, 1956, and a Golden Globe nomination for her work in Gilligan's Island. Presently, Tina Louise is 89 years old. Her enduring presence in the entertainment industry, marked by her talent and contributions to classic television, solidifies her status as a beloved and respected actress. Linda Evans, born on November 18, 1942, is an American actress best known for her portrayal of Crystal Carrington in the popular television series Dynasty, 1981-1989. Her stunning performance in the show, which became a cultural phenomenon, solidified her status as one of the leading actresses of the 1980s. Evans' career spans multiple decades, with notable roles in shows like The Big Valley, 1965-1969, and Dynasty. Her achievements include a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Television Series, Drama for Dynasty in 1982. As of 2024, Linda Evans is 81 years old. Her legacy is marked by her captivating performances in both television and film, making her a respected figure in the entertainment industry with a lasting impact on the world of glamour and drama. Thanks for joining us on this nostalgic journey. If you enjoyed revisiting the 80s Hollywood glamour, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more captivating content. Until next time, stay fabulous.